Things are falling apart. The center can no longer hold. It's getting noisier and messier. And it's also getting personal. Earlier today, we got the apologies to Ruto and to members of parliament. That apology seems to have opened some old wounds. Some leaders from the mountain have decided now to spill the beans on Rigadi Rashagwa. And they are promising that come Tuesday, they will teach Rigadi Gashagwa a lesson he will never forget for the rest of his life. Rigadi threatened that by December, if any leader from the mountain does not support him, then those leaders will not be re-elected come the next election. These leaders are now saying they will send Rigadi home before he sends them home. They will be one-term members of parliament, but for Rigadi, he will be a half-term. I feel Rigadi made a blunder by threatening these leaders too early. He ought to have waited a bit, but he threatened them too early. And now the war has turned noisier and messier and even personal. Let's have a look at what Muranga Women Representative, Betty Maina, Muranga Women Representative, has shared out through her social media accounts. Betty and Maina, we have been insulted, threatened and humiliated. On his way to my dowry, and the night prior he said unpalatable, and venomous things that broke me completely. The things he has said about me in person, and his associates has said, I have no space for forgiveness. He has referred my lady colleagues as prostitutes. He even bet my marriage wouldn't last for six months, yet I had trusted him. Hashtag ready for Tuesday. That's Betty Maina. Betty Maina's husband is Madeira member of parliament. We know Rigadi comes from Madeira. Rigadi's member of parliament is Betty Maina's husband. Maina is saying on his way to my dowry <laughs> and the night prior he said unpalatable and venomous things that broke me completely. Maina is going on to expose how Rigadi has been insulting some female members of parliament, those coming from the mountain and some close to Betty Maina. So it's getting messier, noisier and even personal. I want us to dig deep into this for Kenyans to understand what this means. If you are watching us but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give the video a like. Let's proceed. Regard this apology was a very big blunder because now what was he apologizing for? If his conscience is clear, he never committed any offense. Why was Rigadi apologizing to Ruto and to MPs? The apology, in my honest opinion, confirms Rigadi is guilty as charged. That's why he was apologizing. You can't apologize. If your conscience is very clear, you've committed no offense. So his apology confirms Rigadi is guilty as charged. And that apology also exposed the weakness in Rigadi Gashagwa. In public he pretends to be very strong, but inwardly he's a very scared, afraid man. That apology 
exposes that weakness. And that's why we are now seeing leaders coming out to swear that they are waiting for Tuesday to deal with the Rigathi Gashagwa. These are leaders from the mountain. So, it's as if they have now decided that they must go down with the Rigathi Gashagwa. Before Rigathi takes them home, come 2027, they will take Rigathi home before that 2027. So in other words, they are giving Rigathi a half term. For them, there will be one term, but for Rigathi, it's a half term. And that's why I did state, Rigathi made a blunder. Rigathi is too mouthy, and being too mouthy is working up against him. We remember, Rigathi is saying William Ruto ni mfalme wao. And he used to press Ruto. And then upon falling out with Ruto, he went ahead and said Uhuru is now the mountain's political kingpin. Uhuru has nothing to gain from Rigathi Gashagwa. So it's commonsensical that Uhuru, if he was to choose between Rigathi and Ruto, he'll choose Ruto. Uhuru has a lot to gain from working with William Ruto than working with Rigathi Gashagwa. Uhuru is a politician, and in politics, it's all about interests. Rigathi just recently said Uhuru is the political kingpin of the mountain. What if Uhuru again makes a U-turn and decides to work with Ruto? Will Rigadi now say Uru is not the kingpin? Rigadi keeps on making some political blunders that are not necessary at all. He talks too much. A leader, you should not be very quick to talk. Rigadi should learn the art of silence. Sometimes as a leader, silence adds you value. If you just talk aimlessly, you lose that value. You are exposing yourself too much. Betty Maina has just spilled the beans that come Tuesday. Wataonana na Rigadi Gashagwa. I did state in our earlier analysis that William Ruto will not forgive Rigadi Gashagwa. That time for forgiveness is long gone. The impeachment motion has been tabled in parliament. Stakes are very high. Public participation has been done. If William Ruto forgives Rigadi now, I'm very sure most of these MPs from Mount Kenya, they will dump Ruto. They would rather apologize and work with Rigadi Gashagwa than to continue working with Ruto. Ruto has clearly set them up against the ground. So the mission has to be fulfilled. If Ruto forgives Rigadi, all these members of parliament from the mountain will appear foolish. So Ruto's hands are also tied. He can't forgive Rigadi Gashagwa. Rigadi brought this upon himself. He has been attacking everybody. So he has not only been attacking the opposition, but he has also been attacking Kenya Kwanzaa leaders. And that can explain why he's very unpopular among Mount Kenya leaders. He's too bossy, a dictator. He's forcing his ideals and ways on the people. That's why Rigadi has been rejected. Let me stop it there, ladies and gentlemen. If you are watching us but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give the video a like. Any person watching us outside Kenya, drop a comment let us know from which part of the globe you are watching us from. If possible, subscribe, give the video a like. The remarks by Betty Maina confirms this impeachment against Rigadi Gashagwa 
is now going personal. It's getting messier and noisier. And by Tuesday, we'll be getting very interesting things coming from the mountain. Let's meet in our next analysis. Thank you.